This is Birdie. Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. She lives in a nest in a tall tree near a forest. Birdie feels cosy and safe in her nest, high up above the ground. Birdie likes to catch worms and talk with her friend, Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog lives in a pond with green lily pads. One day, when Birdie was looking for worms, she heard a strange crackling and popping noise. She wondered what it was. She sniffed the air. Yuck, that smells like burning, she thought. Then her eyes began to burn and sting. Birdie flew back up to her nest and looked around. All the birds were chattering and chirping. The insects were buzzing. There was a lot of hot wind. Ooh, ooh. Come on, Birdie, we have to go. There's a fire coming, said her friends. The crackling and popping got louder and louder. Everything hissed and spluttered. Birdie didn't like the black smoke. It made her cough <coughs> and it made her eyes sore. Birdie was very frightened. She flew off to find a safe place. Birdie and Mr Frog hid near the fire truck that came to help. The fire truck had a loud siren. The firefighters shouted in loud voices to each other. They used their big hoses to spray the fire with water. Noisy helicopters came too and dropped water on the fire. Whoosh! Birdie and Mr Frog didn't like all the noise. It was very scary. They hugged each other and closed their eyes tight. They waited and waited for one whole day and one whole night. Luckily, their friends had brought some food. When the fire was over, Birdie flew back to her tree. Oh no, the trees were gone. Her nest was gone. Everything was dirty and black and stinky. Even her feathers. Birdie was very sad. She started to cry. Lots of helpers came. They brought buckets and shovels and saws to clean and fix and plant. <coughs> went the saws. Swish! Went the hoses. Dig, dig, dig went the shovels. Chop, chop, chop went the blades of the helicopters. Birdie didn't like all the noise. She covered her ears with her wings. Some helpers brought food to eat. Other helpers brought sticks to build Birdie a new nest. Some of Birdie's friends brought feathers to make her a bright new coat. Birdie felt better. Soon the trees and bushes started to grow. The animals and birds of the forest came back. And there were happy sounds again. Bees buzzing and birds chirping. Birdie and Mr Frog were both safe. Birdie was happy again.